People buy from those they like, know, and trust. Perfect illustration of this principle unfolded in Calgary, Alberta. It's April of 2019. CEO Tim Beach has got a real dilemma on his hands. He's trying to inspire a little bit of trust, but his category, his industry sector, well, let's just say it's viewed sometimes with a jaded, skeptical eye. So what did Tim do? He got together with his executive team and they really started thinking about what could they actually demonstrate, not just with words, but with actions that would be believable and understood and come from a good place. And here's what happened. Ever since June of 2019, in a market with 120 plus competitors selling similar products at similar price points, Tim Beach and his team at Charles Glenn Toyota are sharing their generous spirit, their stories of celebration. They're talking about things like Jerry Seinfeld's birthday, or maybe it's the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. What they're doing is not only telling the stories of celebration, because there's always something to get up and celebrate in the morning, but they've also got the cakes and the cupcakes with the matching and corresponding themes so that the celebration happens not only online but offline right in the dealership. In one word, Tim Beach and his team at Charles Glenn Toyota have really rediscovered the power of generosity. I knew I couldn't just do it myself and Ashley couldn't do it and Ryan couldn't do it. We needed to have you know, as many people involved in it as we could. And we've had a lot of people, I would say, that would be quite shy. And when you find something that they love, it's amazing. They'll sit in front of a camera and they'll talk about it, no problem. So let's break this down a little bit, especially as it relates to the scientific and economic theories that support a spirit of generosity. There's numerous validated medical and economic studies that have been shown to demonstrate how a generous spirit actually releases warm and fuzzy hormones that have this cascading, multiplying effect. It can impact all kinds of things from internal culture. So if you're interested in alignment and engagement, for example, there's something in us in the way we are constructed as humans when we do tap into that generous, more kind, giving soul of ours, you know, it has this incredible power to wash over not only companies, but entire communities, both online and off. So how can any business, any organization embrace this? Well, it doesn't have to be that complicated, but it does start with recognizing that there's something much more meaningful when you give of yourself through real time, real from the heart type of commitment and actions, instead of just writing a check. Hey, no question, some checks and donations are great and they help a lot of people, but really what tips the scales in terms of creating an environment where people are positively influenced in terms of buying behavior is when you do things in a very genuine, very caring, giving way. So here's my challenge to wrap up. It starts with a mindset that says, hey, maybe we're gonna be just a good digital citizen today. Maybe we're actually gonna brighten the feed why not repost something or make one of your own posts that is very positive, uplifting, that might just be a cause for a celebration in someone else's day. Nothing is stopping any one of us from making a difference, sometimes as simple with one click and one share that just might make a difference and show someone else that you actually care. On that note, thanks as always for watching Leaders and Legends where you never know who you're going to meet or what you'll discover.